hey what's up everybody welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to show you a quick and easy way to divide uh multiple panels wall panels on for your room decoration okay so if you're new to the channel please make sure you subscribe to the channel because i said i always come up with a great video for you guys to enjoy anything that you want to learn please make sure you ask me in the comment section and i'll get back to your comment real quick as soon as possible so today's video is going to be very simple and easy i've been teaching you guys how to make war because uh a lot of people find it difficult to divide their picture when they want to do a uh, war art okay so this is very simple and easy inside photoshop so all i want you to do is to watch this entire videos to the end because uh, it's very simple and easy and then just follow the steps because it's worth so the image probably we're going to use today uh let's give credit to the god of war games okay we're going to use this picture for today so probably you don't own all these pictures boy. so we try to give credit to them because for using this picture or any war uh, any picture that you prefer it could be your picture it could be a picture of your clients or a picture from google or any other social media platform so without further ado let's get to the business so real quick i said five in one you need five pieces okay and normally uh i made my my as uh, 10 inch different 10 inch different but i've seen a lot of people making their own different different styles make some make it 15 some make it 20 other makes it 30 but probably i make 10 inch Different. so it's very simple and easy as i said before you, as i said before if you need five pieces probably going to be five pieces of wood all right so let without wasting your time let's get started okay let's go to file new new so if you're new to photoshop or well, this is the photoshop user interface okay as you can see you have all this file right here you have all these two right here and you have another options to choose from. it's very simple if you search on youtube uh, uh photoshop for beginners you can watch the entire video and learn more about photoshop you don't have anything you don't know anything about photoshop rather so it's very simple and easy so what what, what i will do is i'll go to file new so probably it's gonna be my new so i'm gonna name it five in one five in one wall art good so five in one wall art as i said i make my the weight probably is five pieces so i make the width side is 10 so 10 times 500 is probably going to be 50 right so the height i always make it 10 inches long so it depends on your wall or the size of your room so probably i made my 30 inches all right so 30 inches for the sake of this uh video let's reduce the re resolution a bit so that the machine don't run slow but if you're doing your own make sure you leave it 300 resolution okay to be able to get the image quality well so i'm gonna make here 150 so that uh the machine will not be running slow whatsoever so we're gonna hit okay you see what i told you so machine is trying. i don't know why maybe um the memory is some kind of stuff so this is the composition we were going to work for it it's very simple as i said begin five in one you need five in one you probably need five pieces okay five pieces of this so sorry <laughs> sorry uh, the joint is not that clear so as you can see you need five pieces and you need a big one in the middle and follow by this medium follow by the small size so far this is this is one this is two three four and five okay as you can see so this probably we are going to or oh, we're going for okay so it's five and one job we have the middle we have the side and side probably this and this side is going to be the same and then and the last one is this and this is going to be the same okay so it's very simple and easy so let's get rid of all this real quick and start our we're so probably going to use ruler to guide our edges okay bam let's go to this edge bam let's go to this edge bam go so now before uh, i show you this i want you guys to pay attention this where the triggers because i've seen million people on social media on youtube especially on youtube they'll just divide it randomly you just click use the market to draw 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 without no the sizes are not the same the sizes are not unique 
so this is what i'm going to show i'm going to show you it's very simple all what you need to do is create a new you can hit ctrl n or or let's go to this so that you can see because probably you cannot see my keyboard so here as i said before i make my 10 inches different so it's 10 inches by 30 probably that's going to be my middle i can just call it uh middle all right middle i don't know if i get the correct spelling <laughs> middle so probably this is the middle okay so i'm just going to use the uh, rectangular tool to draw a shape so i can use that shape as a mask for my picture so i'm gonna fill in so if you fill in you see it's 10 see the offset it's 10 by 13 okay i'm gonna hit okay i'm gonna drag to my main work okay so as you can see it's um so we are going to find the middle of this so i'm gonna unlock this probably this is the middle i'm gonna use the ruler see the middle is a 15 well, because we made the height 30 see it divided by 2 it's 15 you see that 15 over there good and here to probably gonna be 25 see 25 good so we are going to position our image so now we get that image correctly all right so now we have a image in the in the right position good so let's go to the side and side one probably as i said i make my okay without wishing you let's go to new document because i wanted to change this one to a different size but so that you don't get confused let's go to new one probably i'm going to change the height because i said the height from the 10 inch difference so what we only change is the height so this time we're going to make it let's say 24 all right good so 24 you can check the image size and see it's 10 by 24 good so let's fill in with a rectangular tool so that we can use it as a layer good so probably we are going to make sure it fill the composition good let it okay and let's click on this and let's change the color to let's say blue i love blue color it's hot color so blue let's click and let's move it to the main so probably you're gonna find them so this is the middle make sure you put it in the middle you see it's in the middle so probably what we're going to do is this and this size probably are going to be different so instead of you to create a new probably you're going to duplicate so you can just uh edit or you can hold down hot and drag i'm going to hold down hot and drag good so now we have this and this are the same sizes and the middle are the bigger size so let's go to the last one so the last one we can change this size but i don't i don't want you guys to get confused so i'm gonna create new new i'm gonna make here 80. boom enter so i'm gonna draw a new rectangular two good we have to make sure to fill the frames okay because if you don't fill the frame the calculation will not work okay so you see 10 is 10 by 18 all right good so we are going to hit accept let's change this color to maybe uh let's do orange color okay good and let's drag it oh bam so probably as you see it's a figuring pepe pepe aha sorry <laughs> so see this is the middle so we have to make sure we are the middle here yeah, so the brother is the middle so the last and the last probably are going to be the same so we can just go down out or we can just uh come to edit duplicate but let's go down let's go down or let's say duplicate layer uh, color two one of two so let's try this one good so now your work is ready so you can save this as a template okay so that next time you don't have to recreate all these uh 
again okay it's very simple because the other time i saw a comment on my youtube channel saying this isn't a tutorial please please i didn't use the voice that's why you don't understand what i'm showing you it's very simple and easy so all we need to do make sure you use the guidelines so that when you're cutting out your image you don't mistakenly uh, change your size so probably i'm going to add uh this to all that i selected let's go here let's go here so we can use this one for this size all right so now let's go to the up select this one let's select this one let's use the guide to guide here good let's go down a bit all right so let's be this one selected all right so now we are good to go okay so as you can see our work is ready so what is left now is our image so let's go ahead and drag our image this is our image boom let's put that in so we are going to accept that we are going to um, uh, fill in with it no no no, no. let's hold on shift and alt and drag but before then rasterize your picture first so that you get it uniformly okay good so what is what we're going to do good so make sure everything is the right position okay if it's not well balanced make sure you reposition them good so that you don't lose some of the air and some of the shoulder so we're going to push this one down all right so to be able to see the magic all we need to do is to turn down opacity of the so with shift selected i'm going to select all i'm going to reduce this to let's say 20 okay good so now uh, i have this what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, make my final work because and i say this it depends on the material that you use if you're using a sticker okay if you're using a sticker sticker it's very simple or if you're using a, a flazy banner or flazy you need to uh, uh, give it more more margin so that you can use that uh, margin to stretch it on your canvas but this one i'm using a sticker so sticker probably going to be some one inch one inch difference so i made here 50 inches by 30 so i'm going to make it 55 or maybe 60 uh, 56 inch so new you come let's make here 56 by 35 see or probably let's make it 60 let it enter so can get rid of this one close all this no don't save don't save don't save so now we have our work so before then let's save our work just we don't lose everything control s to make it god of war uh, five one at God of War. Then hit save, save it. It's save on the desktop as soon as it's saving. Probably I'm using for uh, 2014 version Photoshop. I like using the old version because the high version sometimes slow machine. So you can use any version. Uh, doesn't matter the, the the version of the Photoshop you're using. So uh, the next thing is let's go to the final one so I can leave you guys. So probably you're going to use the marquee. Make sure you check everything is set. So right click. So you check it's 10 by 30. You see right there with 10 height 30. Click OK. And just right click and choose the layer via copy. Don't cut. Via copy. So here is it. We have it right here. As you can see. So with that one selected again, let's go to the side and side real quick. Let's go to the side and side real quick. So let's go here. Good. Let's with a uh, rectangular marquee tool make sure the image is selected you try you see 10 by 24 all right so 10 by 24 probably gonna right click and choose layer via copy good good so what i want selected once again let's go to here with this one selected once again let's select drag make sure the size is the same because you can see so it's 10 by 24 once again you see so this size and this size are the same so with this one selected uh, layer via copy so probably i've already copied that one so let's go to this one 
and let's do the final one. So final one, let's go to the backyard here. Let's see, eight, 10 by 18. 10 by 18, there, click on it. Layer via copy, we now selected. So let's go here, probably going to be the same as I said. Let's drag. You see, 10 by 18, layer via, no, 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 with this one selected. <laughs> layer via copy. Boom. So now we have all our image ready. So, so what we will do is we will lock this one, the main one. Let's lock that one. Good. Let's go to S and save for the future. Good. So let's close all this. Let's turn the switch off. We are not here. Let's turn the switch off. So it's very simple and easy. Oh, so this is what I'm. Let's select this one. Select this one. Select this one. Select. Select this one. So so let's copy and bring here. Good. So you see the magic. So to be able to see the magic rule, make sure you move three steps. One, two, three. See, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, so now your uh, image is ready to uh, to be pointed out. So as you can see, it's not that difficult. It's very simple and easy. Okay, we don't need to waste your time and do all that kind of stuff. So, uh, if you find this video very useful, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this every single day as i said i always come out with a great information for you guys to enjoy so please make sure you subscribe with a notification on and i will see you in my next video have a nice day